Today we're going to cover how to broadcast data from Access Studio to Houdini. Let's get started with Access Studio setup. When you first run Access Studio, we can open a sample project here. The first thing we want to do is go into our main menu, go into the settings. Here we want to set up our BVH broadcasting for Houdini. Since we're going to do a playback, we want to go to the bottom where it says BVH edit. We want to toggle the data on and we're going to select Access Legacy. Here we want to make sure that we enable the displacement, enable TCP, and change the data from binary to string. We're going to set up the local IP address to 127.0.0.1 with the port number 7001. So we'll go ahead and open a sample mocap file. Here we can see that we can go ahead and loop this file and we'll let this play back in the background. Now let's jump into Houdini. For this video, we're using Houdini Apprentice. Make sure you have Side Effects Labs installed. Now we need to import our character. To get started, we're going to create a geometry node. We're going to go into the geometry node by double clicking and we're going to import our character using FBX character import. Here, we're going to open through the FBX file, search our character, select our Mixamo character. You can download Mixamo characters on Mixamo.com. We're going to be using the following character. Click accept. And now we can see the character is now in our viewport. Now we need to add our mocap data. Since we have SideFX Labs open, we want to make sure SideFX Lab is installed in our application by going to Windows and clicking on SideFX Labs. We can see that we have the latest build from Houdini. So we're going to right click here on the node graph and we're going to type in Neuron. We can see that we have Neuron Labs mocap. We're going to click add that to the project here and we're going to update the connection settings. 127.0.0.1 is what we have set up on Access Studio and port number we need to update to 7001. This can vary based on your project settings. We're going to click on connect and if we click on the display on a near mocap node we can see that we have the mocap data in the playback. Now what we need to do is we're going to add a bone deform. We're going to put this at the bottom. This is where we're going to attach all the setup from Houdini. Now we're going to import a rig match pose. We're going to use this node to match the characters together. We're going to click on the node, click on a display, click on enter. And now we see both characters skeleton in the viewport. We can see our Access Studio data is in white and the Mixamo character skeleton is in green. We can do several things. We can set up and correct T-poses. For example, we can correct the thumb from our Access Studio application. You can see that the thumb is directly under the index. We want to have the thumb away from the index. And we're going to change this to about a 40 degree angle. I'll go ahead and update that on the other end. And one last step, we can see that the Mixamo character has been updated to be above the ground to match our Access Studio skeleton. This is because the last bone in our Access Studio skeleton is actually the left foot, but we want to ignore that. So we'll click on Enable Match Bounce. We're going to disable this option and we'll see that the Mixamo character now is on the ground. So this is ready. Now we can go into and add a map points node. We're going to add this directly to the rig match pose. Click on the node, click on the display and hit enter in the viewport. Here, this is where we're going to match the target and source skeleton. We can do that by clicking and dragging the bones to and from our skeleton here. So I'll go ahead and do that for the rest of the bones. So once that's done, your map points should look more or less like this. All the bones have been assigned to the source and target. One last thing, we can see that the map points node has placed the foot bones on a ground plane. 
we need to ignore the translate on the align guide so that the mocap data is set to original position. Now we're ready to go into the full body IK. We're going to go back into the node editor and type in full body IK. We're going to click and drag this, add this to the map points. We can see we have a character already receiving the data from the mocap onto Mixamo. Lastly, we need to connect this to the bone form. And we're going to click on display and we can see our character with our mocap data from Axis Studio. And that's it for this video on how to broadcast data from Access Studio to Houdini.